This is our band resisted high knee run. Bramlett's gonna get after it here. This is for reps now. So notice that he's trying to get a bunch of reps in. We're getting a little bit of forward lean. This is our progression from our wall run. So that's good there, 10 yards is fine. All right, so notice that he was knee up, toe up, chest up, eyes up, hips were engaged. He wasn't letting the hips drive back. Same thing we do on our wall runs, trying to keep that 40-ish degree angle as we drive the knee up. So this is how the bands are gonna be put on. So we have a pretty heavy resistance band. We're gonna strap one over one side, one over the other, creating an X across the chest. If we don't have enough bands to go around, we can do one single around the waist. Uh, but ideally, I'd like to have almost like a chest strap here partner is going to resist. So the partner has a lot to do with how this drill is dictated. So uh, one of the bad ways to do it is to not drive your knees up. So go ahead, coach, and just kind of go through it quick. So he's trying to go as quick as he can, but not driving his knees up. So that's not great. All right. Um, also, kind of take your butt back, drive your knees up. But yeah, so he's trying to let the band lean him forward and hips are driving back. Don't want that. I want a good straight angle from his shoulders all the way through that back heel as he gets extension. Okay. The thing I see a lot is the guy in front trying to pull or the guy in the back just really trying to yank him back. And so this is more of like a strength drill rather than a speed drill. So both partners here dictate how well this drill is, is performed. Make sure the guy in the back is not messing around. Uh, guy in the front, get after it. Knee up, toe up, chest up, eyes up. It's for quickness, not strength. 